What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Tom from Tom and Jerry. Let's begin this lesson in the center of the page with the top edge of the nose. We start over on the left, draw a curve that goes up in the middle, and then back down on the right. Now from the ends, bend this down and then in towards the center point. Let's add a small oval along the top for a highlight. And we'll fill the bottom half in black. Now from here we're going to move out to the side and draw the cheeks folding in towards the muzzle. So let's line up with the top of the nose, over towards the left, come in, round of the cheek, and then bend that back out. Let's line this up over on the right, coming in, around, and out. Now draw the top of the muzzle going up and then in behind the cheek. So start right in the middle of the nose, go up, and then down. Let's go to the bottom of the cheek on the left side, curve the muzzle, coming down. Now I'm just going to bend that up. Let's step back down to create an overlap, come down and up towards the right. Now from the corners of the mouth, come in and bend that down towards the bottom. Round out the bottom of the mouth and then bend that back up. Let's add the tongue along the inside. So we'll start on the left, go up. Bend that down, step back up, go up and then down on the right side. And then we'll fill the top area of the mouth in black. Let's go back underneath the cheeks, curve the chin, coming in and then down. And then we'll round out the chin, coming down and we'll bend that back up. And we'll go back up to the top and draw in the eyes tucked in behind the muzzle and the cheeks. So we'll start on the left side, go all the way up towards the top of the eye, and then bring that back down. Let's go over towards the right side, go up towards the same height, and then back down on top of the cheek. Now we're gonna pull the iris and pupil towards the inside of the eye. Let's we'll start on the left side, going up, and then bring that back down. Now I'm going to trace the iris along the inside. Going up and back in. Let's go to the right, do the same thing. And it will fill the center of the pupils in black. Let's add that patch in between the eyes. Starting on the left side, go up and down, go to the right, do the same thing. Now close off the center with one more curve going up and then back down. Let's add in the eyebrows, curving up above the left eye and down. Go back to the outside, go up a little bit higher in the middle, and back down on the inside. And it'll fill the eyebrows in black. Now I'm going to move up above the cheeks and draw in the fur. Let's start on the left side, bend this out, and then down. And then we'll line that up on the right. Let's bend this back in towards the cheeks. Let's add another point, going out and down. Let's tuck the bottom of the head in underneath the chin. So on the left side, curve it in, come down, and then in underneath the chin. Now I'm going to add some fur across the side of the head. Starting on the left, go up and out, taper that back in. Let's add another point going out and up, and then back in towards the side. Now I'm going to curve this up around the eye and in towards the top edge of the ears. From here, we're going to bend the ear going up and then out. Now I'm going to bend the ears coming back in and then down towards the bottom. 
and we'll bend that back in towards the side of the head. Let's go back to the tip of the ears, draw the outside, coming in and then down. Now we're gonna add some fur across the top of the head, starting on the left side of the ear, bend this in and up. Bring that back down. I'm just gonna brush the hair over towards the right. Going across and then back down. Let's add one smaller point going out, back in, and just round out the right side of the head. Now let's go back and add some whiskers. From the left side of the nose, curl this up and out. Go to the right and do the same thing. I'm going to step down, bend this out and down. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We we'll start on the left side, just underneath the head, curve the body, coming down and then out towards the hip. Go to the right and do the same thing. Now from the hips, move to the center and step down, add a curve. From left to right, going up and then down. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, angle this down and out toward the left and the right side. I'm going to step back in, curve this in and then down towards the heels. Now we're going to round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, bend this down and then up. And I'll draw on the first toe, almost like drawing a C, going all the way around and then down. Let's stack two more toes on either side. Start from the top, come around, come back in, and do that one more time. Now from the hips, we're gonna go back out, round up the knee. I'm just gonna pull this across and in towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going out towards the knee, rounding this out, and then bending that back in. Now in between the last two toes, curve the foot going up and in behind the knee. Let's go back and add that patch in the center of the body. We'll start right in the middle with a point. Now from here, I'm going to curve this up and then down toward the left and the right side. Let's go back to the left side, curve this down towards the bottom, round this out and pull it up towards the right. Now we move out to the side and draw on the arms. Let's start halfway down the side of the body, bend the arm going out and then down towards the wrist, and we'll line that up on the right. From the left side, draw a small half circle for the thumb, close off the end with a bracket. Now we want to add three fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb, come down and up around that bracket, step down towards the side, go out and up, and then the third finger, we're going to pull this in towards the outside of the wrist. Now from the wrist, we're going to draw that same curve going up and in, and just tuck that in underneath the chin. Let's separate the wrist, starting from the outside, we're going to go up and down, like a little zigzag and just work our way towards the inside of the wrist. Now we're going to draw the tail coming out from the left side. Let's start from the hip, bend this down around the hand, go up, and then bend that back out. Let's trace that same curve along the bottom so it gets wider as it comes down and then in behind the leg. Let's separate the end of the tail with a little zigzag. And then we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Tom from Tom and Jerry. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.